This is Marty Barron, the editor of the Boston Globe. Marty, thank you for giving us your time here today. Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you, how did you feel coming into the Boston news market? I've worked in a number of different areas. I worked in Los Angeles, New York, uh, and Miami prior to coming to, to Boston. So for me, it was a new experience, a new adventure, and uh, I thought it was a great. It was great to come here. There, there are, it's such an interesting community and an influential community in so many different areas, uh, from politics to science to technology to uh, uh, finance. In your speech that you gave here to the Alpha members and the community, you made a distinction between journalism and so-called citizen journalism. What is for you the true meaning of the word journalism? Uh, I think uh, journalism is the process of um, uh, finding information, verifying that information, and delivering that information in a fair, accurate, and honest way. How is the Boston Globe dealing with the growing diversity within the demographics of Boston and Massachusetts? Well, we recognize that the, uh, the population is changing, that the community is changing in some very significant ways. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to cover those communities uh, in our pages, along with everything else that we cover. It's part of the mainstream of our coverage. So, for example, uh, we have uh, one person on staff who covers issues of immigration and diversity in, uh, in the Boston area. And she's regularly in the paper, she writes all the time, and I think she hits on some very good, good subjects. So that's, that's the thing that we want to do first. Also, we want to incorporate our, uh, in all of our coverage a recognition that uh, this is a diverse population and that uh, different faces, different voices, uh, people from different communities should be included in that coverage. Okay. And as you know, there are a lot of uh, the new skinny newspapers that are out that are free to the public. How is the Globe dealing with the competition from the papers like the Boston Metro and the Boston Now, which are handed out at all the subway stations every morning? Sure. Uh, well, Boston Metro is actually 49% owned by the New York Times Company, which owns the Boston Globe. So uh, that's one way that we uh, dealt with that was to that actually was to actually invest in that uh, in that competition and uh, try to assure its uh, its success and to participate in that way. Uh, but we also uh, produce uh, free publications of our own of a different type, more of a magazine type. So, for example, in the last year, we have begun to publish niche publications. Uh, one of them is called uh, Design New England, which is uh, oriented toward design, home design. Uh, we also publish uh, something called Fashion Boston. And now we started to publish a, a very small publication, it's almost Reader's, Reader's Digest uh, size, called Lola, uh, which is for young women and focuses on shopping and things of that sort. Now those are very different kinds of publications, one from the other, but also from what we traditionally do here at the Globe. Uh, and di it's different than the free publications that are available from other, uh, other people as well. But obviously, in order to set yourself apart, you have to be different than right. what they're doing. Right. And now, lastly, my question is, where did you learn Spanish? Uh, I started learning Spanish in uh, Los Angeles uh, when I was a reporter there for the Los Angeles Times. No, when, actually, when I was an editor there for the Los Angeles Times. And that was probably about 20 years, uh, 20 years ago. Uh, because the population of Los Angeles was changing. Obviously, there was a growing and very significant uh, Latino population there. And I thought it would be, obviously, an advantage to uh, speak a second language uh, and also to have the, the ability to communicate with people in the street about what was uh, happening and to better understand those communities, to watch the news in Spanish on Univision or Telemundo or whatever. Um, and uh, so I started that, and then I... Um, started there and then after a year I went to Mexico and uh, stayed there for a month with a family and cl took classes and then another year I went to uh, uh, where did I go Guatemala and another year I went to Costa Rica and then when I was in Miami when I was the editor in Miami I felt an even greater need to even get better and so I spent uh, three weeks in uh, Sevilla of Spain to uh, study and live there. Uh, and I took classes all in between those, uh, those sort of more intense periods as well. So uh, over that period of time, I tried to learn it. It's imperfect, but uh, I'm still working on it. Muy bien, muy bien. So if you could send a message to our viewers in Spanish, oh. <laughs> we would greatly appreciate that, whatever you want to say. Uh, bueno, en entonces este es el, men el, el mensaje. Uh, tenemos aquí en el Boston Globe la obligación de cubrir toda la comunidad hispana uh, y las comunidades en cada rincón de, de esta región y uh, nos dedicamos a, a esa misión. Es nuestra meta y nuestra misión. Muchas gracias por su tiempo, señor Barron. Gracias a ti.